Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about, um, WWE Raw from last night, uh, the September 4th, 2023 edition of Monday Night Raw. Uh, really for the main thing, if there's one thing WWE's perfected, it's Gunther. Um, last night, um... He retained the Intercontinental Championship over Chad Gable in the main event, which was a very good match, by the way, and a fantastic ending. And basically, going through as he breaks the all-time Intercontinental Championship record tonight. But but wonder. But now we kind of need to start discussing what's next for the man who's quickly becoming a modern-day legend. Going through is quickly becoming like a modern-day legend. And if there's one thing that he's perfected this year, it's going through his IC title reign. So he's gonna break the honky the honky tonk man's record. Um, so when uh, I think um, Chad Gable's still gonna win that belt eventually. I know people wanted him to win it last night, but we gotta be patient. We know Chad Gable is probably gonna lose, but he still looks strong even in defeat. He's gonna win it at fast. Uh, I still think he's going to take the Intercontinental Championship eventually. I think they just want to go through to break the Honky Tonk Man's record. Then at fast, uh, fast Lane, Chad Gable takes the belt from uh, Gunther. That's why I think it's going to happen. I could be wrong. That's really the main thing that happened on Raw. I mean, it was a decent show. There wasn't like a lot of notable things. That was the main notable thing. And also, they hinted at a Jey Uso there would be some trade compensation. I think it's going to be the, whoa, man, the co- the whoa, Cody Rhodes. Um, that's probably going to be the trade, most likely. I mean, I don't, if it's anything else, it wouldn't make sense. So, if you can get traded Cody to SmackDown, you won't have to have Cody win the Rumble in order to get back at Roman Reigns. He can just go to SmackDown, they'd be on the same brand. So, that be is hinting at Cody Rhodes being traded to SmackDown. I mean, Cody's kind of too obvious, though. That would kind of be a big, big loss if he left Raw. You literally would only have Seth left holding this all up now. Maybe Jay as well. Well, I mean, they still have Gunther, like Drew McIntyre. You could have him as a heel. Same in KO, Priest, obviously the Judgment Day. And, uh, yeah, it kind of is a big loss, I guess. One of your biggest baby faces in the company. But also, Cody going for Seth is not finishing the story. Why would he go after Seth to, quote, finish the story when he's trying to take the belt Roman has? So you still have some good people on Raw. It's just most of them, most of them are heels. Like, Nakamura's a heel. I mean, Timmy K.O. Babyface, but Priest, Judgment Day's all heel. Gunther, Drew's probably going to turn heel soon, I bet. Jay and Seth will probably be their biggest baby faces, along with K.O. and Sammy. But I know Cody would be too obvious, but what other way is there for Cody to get back to slowly get into Roman Reigns? What other way would there be besides winning the Rumble? I think they're probably going to do a, a swap of Jey Uso and Cody Rhodes, most most likely. But I really enjoyed Raw tonight, or last night. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a watchable show. I mean, yeah, those were really the two main things that happened on Raw. So, yeah, it's really getting to the show. Um, Jay Uso, main, main, main event, Jay Uso, as he's called now. Um, a segment to really open the show, as he's now on Monday Night Raw after Cody Rhodes. The pay per view uh, said he's now a new member of the Raw roster, which pretty much hinted that Cody Rhodes is going to be involved in that. Trade trade compensation to SmackDown. I didn't say the trade would be now. It, who knows when the he'll be going to SmackDown. Uh, but yeah, Sami Zayn comes out. There's a lot of people pissed off at Jey Uso because of the history with the Bloodline, like Drew McIntyre, Matt Riddle. A lot of people pissed off. Probably be pissed off backstage. Like not literally, like. At Jay, so it's because of the. Just keep cafe. But yeah, Sami Zayn comes out and they're basically reunited. Really, his only friend right now on Monday Night Raw, uh, Jay Uso, Sami Zayn. But yeah, I was going to see Jay Uso and Sami Zayn uh, basically reunite on Raw. 
That was basically the open segment, really the open show. There's not really much more to say. But it, that was a good moment. But Seth Rollins is backstage with Adam Pearce. And after his match at Payback, basically advising Seth Rollins just to take the night off. Really, to be honest. Just to take the night off. Now, he's not medically clear, but he's insisted anyways. And then Ricochet come back there. Who? I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, Ricochet came back out there. Came back there basically saying, uh, you, you can't just carry the brand, basically. Yada, yada, yada. He basically doesn't have to carry Monday Night Raw. But he still insists it otherwise. Uh, next, the Viking Raiders versus Matt Riddle and Drew McIntyre in a tornado tag team match. Uh, the Viking Raiders get the win over Riddle and the Drew McIntyre after, um, Kofi Kingston hit the uh, Trouble in Paradise accidentally on uh, Matt Riddle. And then they hit, threw Matt Riddle through the table. One, two, three. So, things going to keep building up more and more where Drew McIntyre turns heel eventually. Which I, I want to see him heal. I think they're going to, I think that's the plan. I think they're going to do it eventually. So next, we, and there's probably another segment I'll talk about later with Riddle and Drew McIntyre and Kofi Kingston. Seth freaking Rollins segment with Cincinnati Nakamura. Seth Rollins comes out there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cena saw, and um, Shinsuke Nakamura comes out there. One thing I just, uh, I just want to sing Seth Rollins' song. Um, <laughs> I know people want to say after payback that they're not interested. And another Nakamura and Rollins title match. I know the top of the card on Monday needs help badly, but you can't expect them to build a feud if you just keep ending them. You're not giving Rollins anything just match after match. The feud was hot and the best thing on Monday Night Raw, but we should end it because someone's not interested. It needs to continue and build more. And maybe, yes, I, I did see how the fact that Nakamura lost claim. And it wasn't boring. It just the crowd made it boring. A lot of people saying, "Oh, the match is boring." It wasn't. Just the crowd was out of it. Boring is not the right term for the match. If you weren't interested, just say you're not interested. But, the, but I'm sorry, but that match was the first thing for boring. The crowd was out of it though. It wasn't boring. I feel like the match before sucked the crowd out of it. They didn't go as hard as they could to set up another match. And, and the way they did that was by Nakamura controlling the match by targeting his back for most of the match. Making him look strong in a clean loss. Not to mention, he just goes back to floundering in mid-card limbo. And he's too good for that. And I did watch the match. It wasn't boring. Far from it. It's just not anything special and a little too and a little slow. It was the closest thing to like a New Japan Pro Wrestling style match we'll get in WWE. And I want to see if they can do more with that. But yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people probably don't want to have another match, but. But they're going to have another match, and I've, I knew they were still going to have another match even after the pay per view. But, yeah, they're basically doing the tag title match again. Tag title. They're doing the, win, the, Lord, the World Heavyweight Championship again. At the uh, pay-per-view, probably at Fastlane, I bet. Another uh, another match. Uh, then, uh, Rollins, uh, Nakamura brought the top of the stage. Nakamura eventually takes control, pushes his back into the stairs, and here... Um, or, no, never mind. That was the second brawl. Um, Rollins comes up there, so they start brawling. Here comes Ricochets. And basically, it sets up a tag match. Or a one on one match with Nakamura and Ricochet. Um, for that, there was like another little segment. Adam Pierce still telling Seth Rollins not to go back out there after that brawl. Uh, Ricochet wins my DQ. Over uh, Nakamura after he used the chair. And Seth Rollins comes back out there to save Ricochet. After Nakamura puts the chair around his neck. They start brawling. And then eventually Nakamura throws him into the, the steel steps. Back first. And Ricochet um, runs Nakamura off. And the Judgment Day looks on. Damien Priest says not tonight. 
Ray and uh, Damien Priest said not tonight. So I don't know when they're going to cash in. Well, whatever the hell he's going to cash in. He's probably going to hold it for like nearly most of the year. Which is a good thing. He doesn't really have to cash in immediately. Next, um, Zoe Stark and Shayna Baszler backstage. Zoe Stark basically saying how she respects Trish Strash, but, she, but she's not going to let anyone shove her around. And then Shayna Baszler comes back there. Basically, they have unfinished business. And they and they, Zoe said sat on the room, so. Uh, the Judgment Day segment. Basically, the typical Judgment Day segment. All rise for the Judgment Day. Um, we run Monday Night Raw. Yada, yada, yada. The same Judgment Day promo. Uh, but here comes J.D., the fake J.D. J.D. McDonough, he comes out there. And um, there was a report earlier in the day that they would have a new briefcase, and it was true. A uh, new briefcase for um, Damien Priest, a purple briefcase um, for the Judgment Day. It says, send your money in the bank. Really loved that briefcase. And within a few minutes, they already had that briefcase on WB.com. Or shop, WBShop.com. Uh, sponsor plug. And then Sami Zayn comes out there. Uh, he was beating up a Dominic, or he comes out there and basically wants a match with um, J.D. McDonough later in the night. So we get that set up. Shayna Baszler versus Zoe Stark. Shayna Baszler wins in a pretty solid match. They actually actually got some time to tell you no. Know, this was a Triple H show because the women actually got some time to wrestle. Just saying. Now Shayna Baszler chokes out Zoe Stark and gets the win. Well, this women's match went was a squash match, so. Raquel versus Chelsea Green. Raquel wins in what? What? A minute? A minute? 90 seconds? Raquel wins over Chelsea in a squash match. And, and uh, Piper and even her partner was uh, not medically clear because of like a small illness. So she'll probably be back soon. And then we had a riddle, Drew and Kobe segment. Drew, ba Drew this, I'll sum this up. Um, Drew McIntyre basically, um, he's going to keep be keeping his eye on uh, any accidents. So. I think I feel like something's gonna happen maybe next week and maybe the week after and we get him turn to heel. The Miz The Miz T V segment with John Cena in the invisible John Cena. The Miz did a skull crushing finale on an invisible John Cena. I kinda laughed at it. I mean I thought it was funny. I mean, it fits his character. So. It kind of fits his character. I thought it was funny. I didn't see a problem with it. I mean, I thought it was funny. I agree, like, I, you can agree to disagree. I thought it was amazing comedy. Well, yes. Maybe some people didn't like it, but I thought, but I liked it. Zane versus J.D. McDonough. J.D. McDonough wins, um, after a distraction from Dominic Mysterio, and after that, beats up Dominic. Dominic, J.D. McDonough comes to save him, but he still gets the whole kick, and... Dominic runs away. And then we get a scene between Dominic and Jey Uso. Jey Uso basically, Dominic basically recruiting Jey Uso to the Judgment Day. That ain't gonna happen. Come on. So, Jey Uso ain't going with another faction after just getting out of a faction. And Chay Gable versus Gunther for the Intercontinental title basically gave my peace at the start of the video. Um, how I knew Gunther was gonna retain because they want him to break the record. They want him to break that. Uh, Intercontinental title record, so yeah. But I'll give it a 7 out of 10 show. I really enjoyed it, but that's all. Say, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Until next time, I can like. Peace.